You're an idiot. I know. <laughs> you know who else is an idiot? Kyle. Mike. Not even because here. Because he Dave. he gets sick and then he comes and pods anyway. I'm not even sick. Fucking this spitting even, his fucking saliva all over the place. So uh, I'm not even sick. What is that? The series probe? The what? It's, oh yeah, uh, passed by Pluto today. It passed by Pluto today. Yeehaw. Closest uh, closest approach of a man-made object to the dwarf planet or the Plutoid. Mm-hmm. It's cool that it's got its own class of planets because it was never really a planet. There are things out in the Oort cloud that are actually bigger than Pluto. And actually, no, they found out that it has. It, it is actually probably the biggest object out there. No, they, no, no, because they've the, their estimates are their estimates were actually smaller than what it actually is. I read the article today. Well, their original estimates were much, much bigger than it ori- than they thought it was. They yeah. originally had it as big as, like, Neptune or some shit, and it turns out it's smaller than most asteroids. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Look who decided to show up. Their, their estimates. Oh, my God. Their Kyle estimates were. actually showed up. We didn't think he was going to make it today. Oh, uh, God. Gar- already got off the topic of Pluto. Never mind. Yeah. We'll come back Whatever, to Pluto. Yeah. I think that's a, that's a topic that we should cover. I saw a picture on mine today. It said, uh. Two year, or a few years ago, you broke up with me, and now you're driving past me real slowly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Blue. That's the crazy thing, though. That that probe was launched in 2006. We were still in our sophomore year of high school, and 10 years mm-hmm. later, it's now reaching Pluto. So Kyle decided that he felt like potting tonight. Yeah, I guess I guess he decides to show up all of a sudden, out of the blue. I'm sure the last episode was great. Thanks for joining us today, Kyle. Yeah. Um, it's... Really great to have your vibrant, colorful, and well-needed personality. As it's kind of like you're a guest at this point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks for joining us again, Kyle. I seriously can't wait to hear last week's episode. I don't know. We were pretty harsh because uh, I don't know, you kind of deserve it. Mike was very harsh. <laughs> I was a little mean. I got he, a little... Uh, he was talking to me. He's like, I just want you to know that everything was just in good humor. <laughs> it wasn't, like, though, sure was the fun. thing. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know, man. I feel like you're going to quit after you hear that. <laughs> Even though you were probably already thinking about quitting. There's a little bit of desire in every joke that we want Kyle to leave, but you know, <laughs> we'll keep. We'll keep I was thinking on. I could just set up over at my desk That's and exactly be the producer. What we were thinking. Are you serious? We yeah. talked about that. That's we talked awesome. about how you need to be the. Dedicated like we can, We need to turn this into a video podcast, and then you can be the switcher. Oh, you can yeah. check levels. You Sounds can look like up things on the internet. Fact afford. check. Fact check. I'm down with <laughs> that, dude. And then the only thing that people would hear from you is just like. Yeah. Oh, I don't get a mic? No, no you don't get a no, mic. No, of course you don't. Are you kidding me? You'd yell in the background, and I would mute it every time you were talking. <laughs> so, um... Feels awkward having Kyle back now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so weird. I mean, so right, right, right as I left today to, uh, left to come to my house to the podcast, uh, that good pair of shorts that I had... Yeah, the one left? Yeah. You ripped, ripped. them? No, I didn't rip them. The button fell off. <laughs> The button connecting the, the top get, button. You're getting so fat. It's not that. You are it's, so fat. It's dude. just that clothing companies don't make quality fucking clothing for anymore. fat people. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say blame it on blame it on the company. It's like the chair breaks. Wait, it's like none of this from? chair made. Out All of the listeners out there that has never that have never met me, they're gonna be like picturing like this really big fat yeah, guy. Jordan's the, the fat one. <laughs> everyone, I think all of our listeners know us. Yeah, <laughs> all of our listeners know us. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Daniel Keating. Yep, thanks for listening, big guy. <laughs> Get Not more people Jordan, to listen. Though. We need him on the podcast soon. We did talk about that. He's just, <coughs> mm-hmm. he'd be good. In fact, fuck, I'll just be producer. He can take my spot. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Might end up being better. <laughs> I was going to say, because when Jordan came back, we had a funny story, very entertaining about the Blackhawks and yeah, the but you, and you were just like, I don't feel like it. And, yeah, and then it's like Kyle's story is well, going to be like, oh, I was, uh, I went to, no, I, I went to tired. work to help unload gear because I was shooting a film all that week. And I went to unload gear. This is so much more interesting Stop. than Jordan's and story. I found out I didn't have to like. I found out I didn't have to work Friday. Oh, what so a I twist! I just got stuff done at school that I would have got done on Friday, but I just did it then, so I didn't have to come in the next day. What a compelling story! Yeah, that was a good lie that you just came up with it right now on the spot. And also, you ended up coming back here anyways. Yeah, dickweed. Welcome back, Kyle. <laughs> just have so much Glad fun. Glad to be here. Was there anything else important that happened to that day that you were gone? Yes, there was. Was there? Yeah. Can I tell, dun, this, dun, can I tell the story? Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, while, go ahead. While I was there, I got an important email we've been waiting for, which I, I mean, did you guys like forget we were supposed to get it that day? Yeah. I had yeah, no idea when we were going to get it. In fact, I thought it'd be cool if we got it while they are potting. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we got the, we got the results of the 24 hour film race and some fucking, by some miracle or some wacky judges. We made the top 24 in this uh, international short film competition. 
Yeah. And it's screening in New York City next month at a gala event. Bitch. And then I, I called. I tried calling you guys because I figured you guys were still here. And Mike didn't answer. And then Jordan answered. And none of you believed me. <laughs> yeah, because you're a bullshit. Oh, I think Jordan Jordan believed me, right? Well, I wanted to. But no, then they he, convinced yeah. you otherwise. Yeah, Jordan believed you so hard. And then we it took you like two hours to get here. And we spent that entire time convincing him <laughs> that it wasn't a real thing. Yeah, and I think by the time you got here, Jordan may have been on the fence. Yeah, 50, I think he 50, was. I think he compared was. to 100% ready to believe yeah, it. Yeah, he was like, I thought you were like on the verge of tears on the phone. I was so excited. Was. Happy tears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Happy tears. Oh, well, kind of maybe. And then, and then the sweat. realization. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You never know. <laughs> the realization that people are about to see you in your underwear. Oh, I don't care about that. Not even your underwear. Am I going to be the one <laughs> that's panties. presenting? I think it'd be good. As I long, think it'd be fun. I think you should dish the suit, though, and just rock the panties. Because <laughs> that would be really funny. Or yeah. you should get like a... Like a... Like a... Tearaway? Tearaway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be so would perfect. Be so awesome. I, I, we don't have the underwear anymore. We'd be anymore. the highlight We don't have those event. underwear anymore. Oh, we'd get, oh, we'd get them again. Yeah, I was gonna say like fact, we would, we would go from size. the the pity award where the, the, the Addison like, we're like the, the blue ribbon of this thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like the amateur. Like, I've, oh, look, anyone can make it. I've into watched a few of the other contestants and they, nothing really impressed me. I looked at the previous Good, so winners, so, and so they we're all, all bad. Yeah, all <laughs> so of us are the, bad. And we're I think, some of the best of the worst. Yeah. Okay. But I think that if you stripped off to little panties. At the event, that would be the highlight of the event, probably. Yeah. That would be what made the papers. Or As whatever. security escorts me out of the building, <laughs> that would be too perfect. New York again. Just as long as you have like the talking show.net written in marker oh, on your chest. Oh, that'd be tight. That'd be tight. <laughs> I'm still holding to the theory that they're just going to give us a award for best costume. You still think that? Yeah, I think that's what, I think that's the reason we made the top. I'm hoping best picture. Yeah, but are there 24 awards? No, I, I feel like we just won't get an award. Which we'll just screen which it is then. more likely the case. Yeah. But I do like that the Q&A with the filmmakers part of the night, all 24 films get one person on stage. Mm-hmm. I think that's great because that opens up the window to where we could get a question, whereas if it was only to like the top 10 groups get a Q&A person on stage. Although I yeah. I think that, that our usage of the prompt was far superior than the other than the, than the other contestants that I saw. Oh, yeah. Because so ours, like, what else did you see? Like, what did you see as like... It was like the, the, the watering of the plants and like every single one that I saw was all very kind of blunt and in your face kind of like, like our cookie I'm take this yeah no the cookie was just like hey you want a cookie whatever it was, it was, it was subtle it was in there no but it was like that yeah. was far from subtle that was that was obviously a plant like us watering worked better but like the cookie was our thing and that we forced in our uninvited guest could have either been the dad coming home <clears throat> or you know me showing up at the house yeah, that's one thing Kyle brought up that I think did work in our favor is we could have a very unique take on the concept compared to everyone else and maybe no one else did something like we and did. We did I'm, and I sure as shit, we are most likely the only contestant with a sex scene. That could Probably. be. Probably. What's the deal? Like, wait, what did the other people do as far as the unexpected guest? Uh, one guy was, like, drunk and went into, like, the wrong apartment and was, like, banging on the doors, like, hey, let me in, okay, something, kinda, something. I'm kind of into that. That's funny. It was, was he eating cookies? Like, he got drunk, yeah, walking yeah, down the yeah, road yeah. eating cookies? And I, Let's not forget one of our first ideas was I know, a drunk guy. Much that. <laughs> was a drunk guy walking yeah. down the road eating cookies and happened and, to find uh, a man watering plants. And the the watering the plants in that one was the guy was drunk and he was sitting like a like a bench outside of like a restaurant. There's like a shrub there. And he pissed he, in it? No, no. He was drinking a water and he's like spitting oh, in it. That would have like, been good. Oh, he should have pissed in it. Yeah. Would have yeah. made so much more sense. He might have pissed. I don't and, and instead of like just pulling down his pants a little bit to piss, he drops them all the way to the ankles. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funnier when people pee that way. In first grade. Oh, God. I'm like, I'm like standing in the, pissing in the urinal. We're on a bathroom break. Remember when we had those? <laughs> And this kid comes and says, stands next to me and drops trout to the floor. I'm like, you know, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Jordan A still does that at bars. Oh my god, that's, <laughs> he, he, he drops drops. Not trout. me for comedic effect. I am yeah, Jordan A. Yeah, you're Jordan B. You're Jordan Z. Damn it, damn. That means there's whoa. Like I've definitely <laughs> dropped down in scale in high school. <laughs> from high school, I used to be Jordan Q. <laughs> uh, I, I used to be cool Jordan, and then now I'm just. That's right. That's yeah, when there was only two though. Yeah. Jordan. <laughs> But it was <laughs> lame Jordan and cool oh, Jordan. Dude. And he was so lame. Like, so... <laughs> not me. Yeah, 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 yeah. you but, were cool. But Jordan. the other, yeah. the other well, one, you were like to be cool so... by default. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah. so <laughs> lame. <laughs> that makes it better. I was cool by default because I just didn't do anything. Less lame Jordan didn't just roll off the tongue. As well. <laughs> <laughs> right. But anyway, Why are we, we talking shit about Jordan? You're the one that wasn't fucking here. <laughs> But anyway, we won, and we're going to New York. We are actually going to New York 
to see our movie, to participate in all that stuff, and to have a good time and to promote the talking show. Hell yeah. Specifically the Bronx. What? Yeah, that's where it's at. It's in Manhattan. No, it's in Manhattan, bro. I'm just fucking around. Jeez. God, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> you had me worried for a second. <laughs> where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> We're going it's not Bronx? actually New York. It's in New Jersey. Yeah. What? <laughs> Can we no, Newark, not New York. <laughs> yeah. guys. Oh, yeah. Son of a bitch. I'd be more excited. <laughs> it, it's going to be a great time. You you and Devin be. are flying. Me and Jordan are driving. And Dave's Lord, still Dave, a wild card. Dave's on the fence. Wild yeah, card, wild man. Guy. He's a joker. <laughs> <laughs> might just ride my motorcycle there. I you don't never know. know what he's going to do. <laughs> if you leave now, you could probably bike there. Yeah. I like the idea of us showing up and Dave's there smoking outside of the theater. And we're like, what? <laughs> wild card. That would be the coolest. Just thing. like fuck off. <laughs> so, yeah. Fuck it. I just leave. <laughs> You're like I'm just here to smoke. Uh, all these people seem lame. Yeah. I'm out. These shows Pizza are lame. Sucks. <laughs> That's one thing. If I go, I'm trying the best New York pizza that I can find, and I'm gonna talk shit about it on the next podcast because I can guarantee you it's not that good. It probably fuck you, isn't. East Coast. Fuck the West Coast too. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the coast. You hear that? You hear Fuck that, motherfucker? I don't care. You can have whatever opinion you want. <laughs> it's not an opinion. <laughs> what do you want me to say? No, you can't hate the West if there's Coast. There's a country without like another country. Uh, what? Joining its the f- northern border? You mean like a landlocked country? What the fuck are you talking North, about? The northern coast. Yeah, there's a lot like of Germany. That have a northern coast. Never heard you know northern coast. Like a coast. Like yeah. it means like you know. Yeah. So like, why would there? Well, it's Asia. because you live in America, where we have an east and a west coast. Yeah. Egypt. Has a north coast. Yeah, I bet if you live like, in a country, I countries with, have those. I'm just saying, do they refer to them? Though? Probably like, like they, uh, okay, Gulf, a, Gulf if coast. If they only have one coast, they refer to it as the, the coast. coast. That's true. And if they have two coasts, they'd probably differentiate them some other way too, depending on if it's north or south. They may say north or south. Cool coast and lame coast. Yeah. <laughs> Space coast. Is there any country that has a north coast? Well, there's Australia. That one has a yeah, it's has all coast. coast. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of coasts. <laughs> any island nation? Yeah. There's a lot of those, actually. Japan, New all Guinea. coast. But they just have Madagascar, like all coast, coasts. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. just the coast. Yeah. All right. I'm sure when you're Cuba. there, though, they're like, yeah, we're going to mm-hmm. go to the north coast. They're not just like, we're going to go to the coast, because then you're going to be like, what? Which Iceland. one, man? Where are we going? You show up on the south coast. <laughs> <laughs> they're on the north coast where like, are what the they fuck, man i just drove five hours to the wrong yeah, coast what the fuck there are some countries that don't have a coast they're landlocked like paraguay no you sure mm-hmm. i think it's in between argentina and brazil i think paraguay is landlocked look it up as the reigning producer of the show <laughs> i will fact check that information yeah, nigeria well. Oh, he's spitting them out now. Czechoslovakia. Okay, I know you're Laos just, is. You're literally just th- saying countries. No, you have I'm no think- geographical. All right, look up every every one that I've said. The only one I know about is Bitch. Laos because it's a line from King of the Hill. Iraq. Hey, can you fucking hurry up? Kazakhstan, Turkey. Everyone's so interested. Yeah, I, in I love least, Turkey. I believe all of it. I fucking. I'm not even doing it anymore. I typed in Panama. <laughs> <laughs> you are an idiot. Oh, you God. are. Oh, welcome back, Kyle. Uh, yeah. The P. I guess. The P, the P yeah. confused you. Could have been anything. <laughs> Typed in Panama. Luxembourg. <laughs> a man, a plan. The Vatican, now. which is technically it's on a country by itself. That is it's true. A, it's actually a city state, but that's fine. No, it's a country. <laughs> it's the least let me, country. Let me, like as country. reigning producer, let me fact check this. Oh, yeah, look up the Vatican. The Vatican is. You're not going to want to do this. CGP Gray did a video on it, dude. I know. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, dude, he knows. He is dude. an expert. Yeah, that guy's amazing. He really is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Can we hit him on the podcast? He's way too smart for us. I don't know. I'm pretty smart. I don't know. Kind of not. See, look at... Let's let's take a look. Let's spin around for a second. <laughs> I got two degrees on the wall. Pretty smart. It is kind of true. I got a high school diploma. Barely. And home, and almost halfway to an associate's degree. Nice. Are you really almost halfway? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> give, give or take 12 that was a, That was a confident agreement. <laughs> You're halfway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, how long are like that? that means you'd have to have 30 credit hours. Almost. So you have 24, right? Well, you're on yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pushing double digits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm around there. Good, man. I'm not going to say a specific number, but I'm around there. Nine. You have nine credits. No, I don't. Come on. Give me more credits. <laughs> Give me more credit. <laughs> Give me more credit. <laughs> Please. Wait, your first semester, didn't you get nine? I thought I had more than that. I thought I had 12 my first semester. Yeah, but you didn't 
finish all your classes. No, I only dropped one class. <laughs> Meaning nine <laughs> credit hours. <laughs> if you nine. have four, that gets you three. All right, let's, okay, let's just say. I, I guess you dropped I'm going to say I have maybe 20 credits. And did you drop a class this semester? No. You didn't? No. Okay. So that's 12. Why are we getting into my personal life? I love how uh, we went from nearly halfway to just about a third. Yeah. <laughs> And Matt I love you, Jordan. Yeah, I start you, somewhere. I'm trying. No, you're, you're totes right. It's taken me like fucking five years to get like the last 10% of my associate's degree or something. It took me seven years to at least start college. That's not fair. You joined the Navy. Don't bring that Although up. Oh, then you could have gone classes for free Don't in the Navy. Don't bring that up. Don't bring up my it's a, Navy. It's the greatest time of my life. Bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to remember it right now. I met so many new people. I fucked a girl. I don't want to think about it. It's actually true, right? Yeah. Like, that's it's accurate. For you. It's an accurate description Stop talking about me. Hey, experience. Mike, how's your head doing? <laughs> <laughs> a little loopy, but I'm all right. All right. How's that Dr. Pepper treatment? Uh, it's helping. There's caffeine in it, I believe. Uh, Mike's okay, sick, yeah. and he decided to come pod Jesus anyways. Fuck. No, I'm not. Fucking idiot. I'm not sick. He just intends on getting everyone else sick. Oh, my God. He's one of those fucking people. Dave is playing a show with anthropology or something like that coming up mm -hmm. here. What's it called? Autonomy. Yeah. Autonomy. <laughs> Anthropology. That's not even close. It's kind of. Starts with an A. Yeah, I'll give it to him. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Point goes to Jordan. Right. Jordan wins argument. <laughs> Starts with an A. Can't. Can't. Deny Starts with that. an A. Ends with a Y. Ah, come on. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jordan are going to be pretty much highlights of mocap. Movies, Why do you right? always not? Mocap? Mopic. Mopic. Mo it's like the third time oh, I've heard you say Which something <laughs> similar to that. Yeah. Mopac? Which is short for motion picture class, yeah. Yeah, because uh, Mopic is doing a bunch of movies, student films, mm -hmm. and me and Jordan both tried out as an actor, and then we, were, we got paired up in a bunch of movies. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be really funny to see both of us showing up again and again. In fact, there was there was I was actually so overbooked, mainly because I can only work two days out of the week for filming. I was so overbooked for those two days. Um, I had to drop out of a movie, and then when I did, Jordan got <laughs> offered the role. Yeah. And Jordan, what did you tell him? And then... I told him, "Hey, I'm already in your movie. I can't take the second role." No, I didn't. <laughs> um, I'm not Eddie Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was like, I, I'm already in three other projects right now. I can probably. I was supposed to call him back tonight and let him know if I could or not, but Damn. I didn't. Damn. You know, he's had this from the get-go, from, from before fucking casting even started. He's had this, like, movie he wants to do in his mind. Yeah. So he used exactly, like, after the casting thing, he fit the people he liked into this movie, blah, blah, blah. He actually got the cast he pretty much wanted, besides you guys, apparently. And uh, But he never, like, tried to get a group. I don't know if he's, like, blaming it on his age or what. Like, he didn't really approach many people, but now, like, everybody's busy with their own projects that no one's free to work on ron's john's and uh <laughs> ron john's john ron and jerry pretty much told him today to uh not I jerry mean, gary 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 pretty much told gary him said fuck to, the uh, fuck off oh my god i'm gonna leave, leave all this in it doesn't matter yeah, i mean matter. he told him like pretty much man i think you should just like join another group right now and not even worry about this film because he can't get anybody to help him out with it. That, I it's feel not bad a one-man no. show. Don't man. feel bad about it because it wasn't cast. going to be. It anyway, has nothing to do with the thing. cast, man. He went for the cast first when he should have been getting a team together. Exactly. Oh, guess and then so. people like he won't even. You remember how he wanted to hand deliver you the script? Mm -hmm. He wouldn't even show the people he did kind of have involved at first the script. So like they have no attachment to this project whatsoever. Yeah. And now he's got shooting days, and like they're not free. They're either working or they've already scheduled their own days for their shoots. Yeah, it's he was he was putting like. Uh, What's the term? The carriage before the horse, or something like that. Yeah. It, it seemed like he didn't give himself much Which, wiggle room. Well, at yeah, all. and it's not a, that's not a bad thing to do. Like if you're planning your project in a month. Yeah. Or you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. But when you're planning it and like literally the next week you have to shoot. Yeah, you gotta you gotta start from the so basics. It's not his fault. Yeah, he tried. Yeah. He really likes what he's doing. Like it's not. I don't want to talk a bunch of shit about him, but it's just like it's a shitty situation for everyone involved. Yeah, and and it might have been that he thought that. So would he get a poor grade if he didn't do his project? No, because he could join another project. He could join another project. Okay, do something on that, which would be totally fine. Mm -hmm. And he could, he could. <gasps> That'd be could, awkward if he like joined the one that we're doing on Sunday. Oh yeah, we'd be like, that would be. You know, if anything, no, the one hey, he would join, John. you guys don't even know about. Sorry, hey, John. John. Yeah, this is the movie I was gonna be in instead of yours. Hey, hey. man. So, yeah, I uh, didn't mean to diss him or anything. Like no, that. No, 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 I wasn't trying to say that. It was. 
that. He, he made and that he could, mistake. He could, yeah, take, fuck it. he could take the class as an independent fuck it. project. Mm-hmm. It's one credit hour, so it's like 90 bucks, and he could have access to all the gear and make it with other people anytime. Yeah. So he could still make the movie he really wants to make, but it's just going to take some time. Did you ever read the script to his movie? I did not. It's pretty boring. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that shit Word sucks. gets around. Well, it's just, it's not for me. I should say that. Okay. Because I'm not into that kind of thing. Do you think it's for made for, or you think it's more for people his age? I could definitely see that. Or it's like, like a family I, I friendly some, film. Yeah, I think if someone's interested in family history and genealogy and that type of thing, they'll definitely dig his movie. It's just I'm not into that kind of thing. I think we even talked about that once before, where it's like we were all talking about our heritage, and I was just like, meh, I don't yeah, even know where to yeah. care about it. So Miller is a pretty basic name. Yeah. Yeah. Good fucking luck. Well, yeah. There's <laughs> a lot of like you know we we know some of my family history and stuff like that, but it's just nothing that like I care about the people I've known, but I don't care about the people I don't. Mm-hmm. It's like you and I are both on like opposite ends of the spectrum. Mm-hmm. Like you have like a so common name and mine's like rarer than rare it's really hard for either of us to find out our genealogy if i ever meet another pos lesney out like that i don't know yet i'll shit i probably would too i'd be like oh that's weird i, I haven't friend. read the script for the movie i'm gonna be in on sunday but i know there's like heavy dialogue rewrites so maybe it's better that i don't i'm looking forward to it because it seems like it was a pretty neat i really idea. like the director have you guys met gunner yeah. i haven't he's a good dude man he added me on Facebook as a friend. Hi, Gunner. If you're listening, hi. Cool name. Cool name, Gunner. That's pretty cool. Gunner Ulrich. That's a really cool name. If he joined the Marine Corps and got to a certain rank, he'd be Gunnery Sergeant Gunner. Did you guys hear about uh, that guy who died because he lit a firework off in his head? Yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. Wait, what happened? I, mean, I lit a firework I off his head and he died. Yeah, and then like, like, like I read he like put a firework on his head and, and then he died. lit it and then it exploded and then he died. So instantly. he's like joking around like shooting it off of his head rather and then than it like blew up his it on head. the ground, but it like burned a hole through his fucking head. Yeah, probably. Don't also, do the that. coolest part of the story is he played Gaston at Disney World. Why would you do that? Why would you light a firework off of your head? Probably drunk. Be like, hey guys, you just, uh, check this, take, take a Snapchat video. Of this shit. Isn't, isn't that a joke? Famous it. last word. I would do that shit. Would certainly do it. You'd totally what do the it. Fuck? Like, dude, I'm fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What's it I've done it. I've done we'll get to coming, New York in six hours. It'll the, be fine. Coming from the three guys that were shooting bow and arrows directly up in the air in my backyard trying to catch them with a target. You, you were joined shooting us them. Eventually, Ed. <laughs> Yeah. A, you were shooting them. Every and B, photo and video I have is you shooting it up in the air. You still have those? Yeah. I want to see those. I got. I had some near misses when I was doing that. Yeah. And Because we kept going. And then I finally <laughs> caught the arrow. Yeah, that was cool. No, you like, got that on video, You, like, though. threw it, right? Yeah, I, like, chucked the target. And it landed in the target. <laughs> like, it was like a bullseye on the side, too. Yeah. That was exciting. Yeah. I mean, really, I was not trying to capture the arrow landing in the target. I was trying to capture someone getting seriously injured. <laughs> So as soon as Mike got hurt, I was done. Yeah, I got it in the leg. It was funny because it, it sound like we like. Oh! <laughs> you can hear the air on the. Oh! Like, yeah, because yeah, it, it like cut open my leg, so my leg was bleeding a bit. And then, then I was like, oh, that's no big deal. It's just a scratch. No big deal. And then the next day, it was now all bruised. It's weird. <laughs> and there was actually a bruise on the other side of my leg too. I was actually like, okay, we should this just put the video on the deal. YouTube account. We should. Mm-hmm. Totes. I watched Seraphim Falls for the first time the other God day. Damn it, Jordan! You ruined it. <laughs> All y'all freak out it's when there's true. like maybe like less than two minutes of dead air or nothing to talk about. That I freak no out when deal. you come to the pod sick. I'm not sick, Dave. There's nothing to freak out about. So, so what do you define as sick? I have a headache, and that's it. How vomiting. is that sick? I feel like that's the precursor <laughs> to you. What? Why do you think you have a headache? Well, I had a rough day yesterday, and I didn't get much sleep, and uh, I didn't jerk off until today. It's like, you know, lack of caffeine, lack of masturbation. It kind of gives you a headache sometimes, but I'm all right now, all right? And there's no there's no, there's no sore throat. There's no congestion. There's no chest, butt, belly pains. It's all just, it's just a Someone headache. Someone sounds like he needs to whack it again. <laughs> yeah, you're all fucking How do you define sick? Up. What counts as sick to you? Not me, feeling well? Me not feeling well after I hang out with you. It has nothing to do with you. It has a lot to do with me. Because I don't think a headache means you're sick. I just think it means you have a headache. I don't think you're sick. I, thank you, Kyle. I think he's sick. He's so Jordan, sick. what about you? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't been sick in a, a year and a half. Almost two years, actually. How I haven't been happen? sick since I've October. I've been sick for a long time. Really? Yeah. October was the last time. I get sick once October. a year, man. It's like, it's like clockwork. No, me too, usually, man. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. 
I remember the first year I went without puking. I was like so excited. I'm like, I haven't puked at all this year. And then it's like I puke twice the next year. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> made up for it. I puke a lot during the year. <laughs> but I'm a guy that doesn't drink anything. If I'm puking, it's because I'm legit sick. Yeah. Last time I puked was in Honolulu. On the, the yeah, fishing the, trip? Yeah, the, the day after where I was like dry heaving oh, the next morning. Yeah, I was yeah. like, Bleh. Bleh. You know when the last time I puked, actually? I can tell you exactly, Mike. The morning we left for... Uh, the Comic Con in Chicago. That's right. Yeah, you even told me like you know you're yeah, like dude, too... I wasn't feeling well. I, I puked my guts out and I'm ready Felt to go. Felt great. Felt great. That I got Comic Con so drunk at the bar the night before was so great. We no gotta go to a Comic Con again. Why well, don't like? Okay, hold on. I know this is a little early, oh, okay. but maybe next year we get like a we we buy get a, a booth or something yeah. and we fucking panel. Yeah. You need. I think you need people to attend those. Oh, yeah. But we can get a booth and that at least helps with something. You know, like fucking when we saw um what's his name there. Oh yeah, they were, like, snob. they were like giving massages. <laughs> yeah. Like that that was their thing. I'm not giving no goddamn massage. <laughs> I'll give a massage. I'll get one though. Yeah. I might I'll dick. give you a massage. If it means you come to our, our table and talk yeah. to us. I'll give him a massage. No, he had a legit massage terror there. Yeah, yeah he, he's like I a will licensed find masseuse. A le- I would, I would, There's I, a masseuse in this building, dude. I'm sure we could Dude. Oh. Spit some game. Oh. Right, by the way, we should get her on the podcast sometime. And give me a fucking. There's a massage. lot of great questions. Yeah, we'll get yeah. Ask. Like, can I have a free massage? How about the solo <laughs> sessions of the of the talking show where like it's like you talking while she's giving you a massage? Yeah. It'd be a terrible episode. Yeah, <laughs> getting a massage right now. Just uh, gonna be a moment of silence as I kind of take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> now we're listening to the smooth jams of Kenny G. We could, though, actually maybe get a booth at a Comic-Con next year or something maybe like something. that. You know, anything, just like this uh, thing worked out with the 24-Hour Film Fest, like, mm-hmm. we just do a bunch of random things to promote ourselves. Exactly. How's that going to hurt at all? It's not. In it's fact, it costs money. That's true. Okay, it's yeah. Cost money. Yeah, that, that's where it hurts. <laughs> it all costs money. <laughs> Everything costs money. We're already in the hole. Hey, you got to mi- spend money? Spend money to make yeah, money. Yeah, you got to spend money to make money. I lost all my... Uh, I was going to say, we're, like poor people say that. Yeah, we're working really hard they on that first that. part. Oh, you guys are all dickweeds. I hate all three of you. So how do we feel after that break? We ready to talk? I don't know. <laughs> kind of sick of Can't we do something else on this podcast? <laughs> I'm kind of sick of this. You have an idea of starting a new podcast, though? Something to yeah, maybe branch off from the talking show, or you want it to be your own thing? I uh, know. Yeah, it would branch off, probably. No, that'd be cool, though. You got a name yet? No. I know. I have no idea. I, don't, I, I didn't have... think you came with anything since last night. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> but I think it'd be cool. It'll be about... Just kind of. It's about whatever. Everything, but it's about. It's with my buddy Brian and my buddy Neil, who lives in Madison, and uh, we're gonna go up there like once a month. And I don't know how long it's gonna be, but it'll probably be longer than an hour. That's cool mm-hmm. though, because you already go there anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> After get hammered. Just, yeah, it's gonna be very drunk. It's gonna be a lot drunker than this. I podcast. love that two of you are gonna be drunk. Yeah. And then Brian, Brian is, <laughs> is gonna be sober as hell. Yeah. I don't really know what it's about yet, but it'll probably be about uh, horror. I was going to say, because you said that's the one thing that connects y'all. Yeah, y'all music, like horror, horror and video games, maybe a little bit. Cool. Yeah, it'll be fun. Jordan I'm excited already. Looks like he wants to kill himself. I guess my brother Tommy was offered a job to do uh, announcing for high school football games. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's I all- guess I because he's doing that podcast with his friend from work. Wait, what? Yeah. It's a, it's a sports podcast through a Christian radio station. Are you fucking see? How did we not know about this? I don't know. I guess I wasn't. I didn't find it that important. <laughs> Sorry, it's Tommy. Awesome. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. He has. He's been doing it for a while, but uh, I guess someone was like, listening. How? Wait. How long has he been doing it? Before know, us? A couple months. No. Oh. But uh, riding bandwagon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I guess. I guess. I guess someone. I guess one of the listeners uh, liked what Tommy like. Like Tommy's like uh, his voice and his. Uh, Cool. And his like sports knowledge, so I guess they he off, they offered him a job. Dude, spot. I just had a great idea. What? A podcast with you and your brothers. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast. What would they? Oh God, that would be the most racist, ugly <laughs> thing I've ever listened to. They'd also never start it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really know your family, but just judging by you, I'd imagine. <laughs> If we no, all... no offense, no offense or anything, but you've had <laughs> no, a no, camera no, no, in if... your possession for like over a week. And you if we had the equipment in the house, I just I would just never turn it off, and then I'd like record it for like five hours, and then I'd go through and I'd edit it, and it, it, like it, it would it would be that comedy would be gold nightmare. every day. It would kind of be cool because like you guys are all on different schedules, but if you just schedule time to sit down and record a podcast, it'd be great. Or just in passing. Yeah, just like like you know, sit down at the argument table or something. Oh, like yeah, it doesn't even matter if like all of you are there. Just grab at least like one or two. And then it always switch out, 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'd be cool. All right, we I talked gotta, about mm-hmm. doing that for the 24-hour podcast where it's like, you know, people would drop in and out if yeah. we recorded for 24 so hours. So, Kyle, what other podcasts are you doing right now? Yeah, you dick. Big Brother podcast. What does that mean? Is it part of the Talking Show Network? It is not. Yeah, because you're a fucking Lame. asshole. Fuck your podcast. <laughs> Fuck Big Brother, the TV show. Yeah, sounds lame. Is there a podcast for Wheel of Fortune? Oh, I don't know. I haven't listened to it, man. I'm mm. sure there's a podcast for everything. Podcast of Fortune. Because, you know, they're really easy to make. Yeah. And, yeah. And really easy to put on fucking iTunes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Squarespace. Yeah. This podcast is literally brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> No, you yeah. should sponsor us. So yeah. just go to Squarespace. Just <laughs> 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 ask me Squarespace. <laughs> Was it awesome not having any mumbling on last week's podcast? Yeah, it worked out pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> There's a great clip from episode 17 where you just can't spit the words out. And then after you do, we all just sit in a moment of silence of like, we don't know what the <laughs> fuck you just said. I remember that. Wait, so that. this is 19? Yes, this is 19. Now. Wow. Yeah, episode 19. Dude, we've been doing this shit for a while now. Yeah. Mm-mm. It's gonna be fun. Because Do we know our start date? Did you ever look into that? It was pre-March, actually, when we first recorded. Is so February? Might have been into February. It was probably February. might have been to February. Might have been to February. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to start branching out, doing new podcasts, going to Comic Con. Last time we went to Comic Con, we saw that Star Trek thing. That was really cool. Coolest thing ever, man. What was her name? Counselor Troy. Mm-hmm. No, Diana, what's Diana Troy? Yeah, but what's the actress's name? Who knows? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Sorry, they only ever exist as their Star Trek characters. So. It was really funny because she was talking shit the whole time. She was, yeah, she was. Mm-hmm. I feel She's like sassy. we've talked about this yeah, before. And Patrick Stewart looked like he just flew in and he was like super fucking tired yeah. and he just wanted to get out. He's like in a hoodie, like all, yeah. all teenager like. Yeah. He was. I wanted, I wanted to go to that horror convention, but that's in like two weeks and you know, I kind of don't feel like it anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> as, it, as it gets closer, yeah. it gets further. <laughs> if it's on the calendar, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Would you go for the whole thing or just a day? I don't know. It'd be so easy to do a day. Yeah. yeah. I have to, but there's so much shit I want to see. What if though. I came along? Yeah, like, let's go. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. We'll Would it be buy easier tickets. if three other people went? We have to buy tickets. How much are they? I think they're like 30. Ugh. Is it over yeah. a weekend? <laughs> The yeah, yeah. Okay, good. No, it's a Tuesday. You don't Tuesday know. Tuesday through Thursday. You can assume. <laughs> you probably, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's Ant-Man idea. comes so, out this like, week. I saw that the celebrities are going to be there. I don't fucking care about Ant-Man. I saw the celebrities that are going to be there, <laughs> but like, what else is going to be there? There's like a screening of Halloween, but I don't mm-hmm. really care about that. I've seen that okay. movie a hundred times. times yeah. More than a hundred times. Easily. Really? Easily. Awesome. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a movie more than ten times, I'd say, is my max. Damn. I've seen Halloween so many fucking times probably a new hope for me i think i watched master and commander like probably 20 times in the 50 range really for sure when i was a dude like that was my life for a few years when i was when i was younger yeah i've never seen a movie probably more than 10 times and it's probably like shawshank redemption and kung pao (laughs) (laughs) anyways (laughs) but yeah a lot of the michael myers this is are gonna be at the convention i saw that (laughs) scout taylor compton's gonna be there is it Halloween centric? I mean, there's a lot. It's not like is this is fall on some kind of anniversary. It's or? called Flashback Weekend. Okay. It's not like a Halloween thing, but there's a lot of Halloween shit. Yeah, I saw a lot of people there were also from other stuff like Reanimator and yeah, things like that. Yeah, there's stuff from Reanimator. You guys ever seen Reanimator? I yeah. have not. It's a good one. Is that Cronenberg? <clears throat> or is that no? That's older than that. What am I thinking of? I don't know what you're thinking of. But Reanimator is like 50s era, right? No. No. Oh. Isn't it like the fucking 80s? Yeah, it was it was Gorefest kind of time. As reigning producer, I will oh uh, fact check. <laughs> 1985, Stuart Gordon. <clears throat> Stuart Gordon Levitt? Story based on an H.P. Lovecraft. Story. That's right. H.P.V. Yeah, well. Love- <laughs> Lovecraft. <laughs> yeah. He's everywhere. Yeah. He's all over the place. <laughs> I heard he makes printers now. <laughs> God damn it. I'm talking about an STD over here, and you're talking about printers. <laughs> <clears throat> Do we think Mike has H.P.V.? No. Because <laughs> that would qualify as sick, which I'm not. Ah, there we go. Are you all right, Jordan? Why I was just seeing how long it would take before you guys started, like, reacting to me not talking. <laughs> Wait, how long have you not been talking? I don't know. Like, when in the conversation did you drop out? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, neither were we. <laughs> Let's just start the 24-hour right now. No, I have to work no, tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to say, there's work. People got lives, Kyle. Mm. We're not all like Kyle, you, we can't can just... do that. I have nothing to do tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I intend on having 
nothing to do tomorrow. So you're not going to use my camera? Oh! Oh! I didn't say that. You kind of said that. Jesus, it's going to be nice. It's going to be sunny. Use it. There's what are you going to do with it? He had that one idea about like people in war in the rain or something. Yeah, but I can't like act and do something at the same time. So Yeah, so why did you take the camera? I don't know. I got to find somebody. <laughs> I was going to say, that's why you and me should hook up. Yeah. Yeah, just get, go over to his house tomorrow. Because I got a few ideas that I want to shoot. Yeah, but you don't get off work till it, like the sun starts going down. So No, that's the point. Everything I want to film is Actually, it, there's so the much light, though. There's still like two hours of light. Yeah. Also, I want to film stuff in the dark. Like, oh, see, perfect. I want to play with the dark stuff. All right. What are you going to film? Uh, just uh, some ideas for like short little moments of uh, trying I can, to uh, increase tension or suspense and things like that. I can bring over I the, just had little, the tripod, too. Little so. ideas of like little cuts and segments to to do stuff like that. sounds boring cool. i can bring over the tripod because i found out that it actually works on it so mm -hmm. it's actually oh. the first thing that i did so you did do something yeah and i actually put it away no, yeah like right at, right after you left i brought it in my room and i hooked it up to the tripod cool. and i was seeing messing around with the tripod because it's got the handle on it that i can move it around and everything yeah yeah, yeah. nice and cool, then man. i and then i closed it up and put it away and then uh, that was about a week and a half ago <laughs> yeah here we are yeah i'm sorry okay july 4th to be exact <laughs> It was the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, because my idea is mainly centered around... Ten days around ago. Maybe even, like, proof of concept of dust blood type deal, because a lot of them are meant to, like, show paranoia and things like that. Do like, it, I want to include the uh, soap Are scene. any of your shots going to feature a wallet? No, because this is dust blood. I know. But I'm just wondering. Yeah. Because you also had that shot. Yeah, well... Like, you might as well do it. Well, that's that's for the wallet idea, though. The wallet movie but you're just is shooting to have stuff a wallet for fun. in the background in every shot. Oh, okay. But yeah, dust blood's unrelated to that. So, Dust Blood is a movie okay, about Richard Chase, the Sacramento vampire, the guy that killed in eight people. Sacramento vampire? Yeah, Sacramento vampire. Based on a true story? Yes. Well, I mean, inspired by true events. <laughs> okay. You can say. It's one of those. Yeah. Because everything that would be happening in Dust Blood would be completely made up. And if anything, it would have less to do with the real Sacramento vampire than some other crazy cannibal person. But the things that would remain true are what he thought he was doing and why he thought he was doing it. He thought the Nazis put something in his soap that every time he washed his hands, it would slowly turn his blood into dust. And the only way to reverse the effect was to drink blood. And slowly he found out that animal blood wasn't good enough and he needed human blood and brains to really combat the effect. Damn. And so that's why he did that, is because Nazis put something in his soap. It's dark. And I think that's so fucking crazy that anyone who ever thought that was true should realize how fucking crazy they are. And I just want, I always wondered, like, how does it, how do you get to that point? Like, would it be possible to make a sane person believe that by, like, showing them evidence? Or would they just be like, listen, I know you're showing me all this evidence, but it's such just a fucking crazy co conclusion that I just don't believe it. Or would the evidence be compelling enough to make a person believe that? Or would a sane person stop and go, well... Because I believe that maybe isn't I'm that kind of like MK Ultra where they got soldiers to like they like brainwash soldiers to like yeah kind of a kill. maybe like a brainwashing aspect but yeah it's like MK Ultra kind of thing like how does how do you get someone to believe that and so that was the idea behind Dust Blood originally was trying to convey that in some sort of film aspect of someone not necessarily being sympathetic to Richard Chase but going well I could see why he would think that and then they'd be like wait. That's fucking crazy. Why would anyone think that? No one should think that. <laughs> but I don't idea. think it would ever work. But I think it might make a good movie at the end of the day because it's got a lot of paranoia shots and it would just be tension increasing the whole time. And eventually he starts killing people and eating their brains. They found him cracking open a kid's skull. Eating what? the brains. They busted down his door. Found him with a kid in his lap, dead. And he was eating the brains out of the kid's skull. That's fucked up. It's super fucked up. It's pretty cool. You ever heard of this guy, Dave? Nope. Look him up, Richard Chase. There was one moment he was caught, covered Probably. in blood. He had two buckets full of blood, and he was walking back to his truck, and a cop found him covered in blood with two buckets full of it. It turned out he had killed and drained a cow in, near a local farm and was taking the blood back to his truck so that way he would drink it over the next couple of days to try to sustain Wait, himself. And the cop just let him go? Well, the cop... Like, you know, pulled him in and they got the farmer and the farmer decided not to press charges. So they let him go. And then less than a month later, he killed three people. That's fucked. Yeah. That's ridiculous. The best part would be the ending. Because I wouldn't necessarily show him killing people and eating them. But what he said he did was he would walk from house to house and try to open each door. And if it was locked, he said that was that w meant that I shouldn't go in there. But if the door was unlocked and he opened it and was able to go inside, that meant that he was supposed to go in there. 
Like, not even that he would be allowed to, but he was meant to go into the unlocked house. And so the ending shot would be him just walking from door to door to door until he finally gets one that's unlocked, and then he just walks inside. And you want to shoot that movie? Yeah, it's it's been a, a dream project kind of thing. But it's like, I need a lot of proof of concept stuff, because it's like stuff I could write down, but I really want to make sure it actually looks good and works before I start, like, pursuing it more. Because the idea is, like, all about paranoia. Looking over shoulders, looking in the mirror, seeing what's behind you, constantly checking your shoulder. But even more than the person being nervous about things and having those angles of looking over shoulders and, and checking mirrors and, and dark corners, having things actually be there is another key part where things actually are behind him. Things actually are creeping up on him. And when he's not looking is when he is when they are there. When he looks, they're gone, but he knows that they're there. And the audience knows that they're there, but he can never actually see them or interact with them. So the audience is going to see, like, Nazis behind him? Well, yeah. Like, it, I don't know about the whole Nazi part. Like, I don't know okay. if they'll be, like, clad in their SS gear and things like that. But there will be, like, moments where it's, like, maybe, like, you know, people are walking by as he's, like, sitting on a bench and the camera's focused on him on the bench and people are just walking by left and right. All of a sudden, like, a guy in a trench coat walks by one way, and another guy in a trench coat walks by the other way. And every few people are in trench coats, but then eventually, everyone walking by him is just wearing a trench coat. And then all of a sudden, he stops and, like, looks up, and the camera kind of pans out, and there's no one around at all. Just kind of like, you know, ways to, like, show paranoia and craziness slowly sinking in. That there are people around him when he's not paying attention, and when he looks, they're gone. But I don't know how it would work out. Like, you know, in my head it works, but I don't know if that's because I'm crazy. So I gotta. I think, you, I think you're crazy. Yeah, Dave was right. I always like to do things from the absolute crazy and killer's perspective. Yeah, you can't do it the easy way ever. <laughs> <laughs> the typical. Yeah, that's good. I no, guess. that's not what I had in mind when I wanted to use the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have in mind? I, I keep asking you, and I you're don't like, "Look at these ideas, my head." I don't know how to articulate them into words or whatever. It's just you clearly don't know how to articulate them into images. No. You gotta work on that. It's you gotta figure ethereal. out the easiest way to. You'll get it, man. You're good with but writing. I do need it you by can the, write them. I do need it by the weekend of the 27th. Shit, we could do stuff tomorrow. If you want to hang out at tomorrow, just can't, just give it like a snippet. What is he? What's going on in your brain, dude? I don't know. You clearly know. I mean, we know Dave has an idea. Like he's I, gone I, into like, some I, like I told you, it's it, it, it's like that kid in the candy store thing, where now you have all the power. And now you don't know what to do. It's like the dog trying to chase the car. You don't know what the dog's going to do when he actually catches the car. It's like I have the tool now to make this real. And now I don't know what to make do with it. What real? I really want to see what it looks like when a dog catches the car. <laughs> like, can you film that? <laughs> yeah. Dog catching. <laughs> like, the person just slams on the brakes and the dog's like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. And then runs away. The dog waits for the car to start driving again so he can <laughs> so keep right chasing it. it. Kyle pretty much backed the car up into your face. <laughs> now you're dealing with having a car. Yeah. I'm the dog driving a car. <laughs> I'm the dog Film driving. that. <laughs> Been done. Yeah, already done that. So. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something tomorrow during the day when I'm, you know, just text me when you get off work and, mm -hmm. you know, I'll, we'll get hook up. We'll, we'll hook up. Yeah, we'll out. get together. We'll Rub get dicks. Together. Yeah, we'll say, see what happens. We'll, we'll, say we'll, an idea. We'll dock. We'll dock. Just we'll, say we'll one it. idea into the microphone. I had an idea. Okay. This is what I told. This is a good start. I. This is what I told. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, this is what I told Mike. I haven't told oh, Dave. Dave oh, just yeah. left out of everything. Yeah, I told both of them. Everything. It was one night that we were having a party. Dave, yeah, you weren't invited. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got it. fucked up. But um, I had the idea of using my military uniforms and, and that pellet gun that I have and making like this uh, this short uh, – It there's no backstory behind it. It's just a, a guy, and it's raining, and he's in his military oh. uniform. There's no backstory, and he's like trying to get through the forest. I was going to shoot at Rock Cut State is Park. Is a backstory? Kinda. In my head, there's a backstory. <laughs> Not completed at all. The, 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 he's, he's a sniper. And he, yeah. you clearly tell he's been fucked up. Like, he's been fucked up from, from something. But he, uh, the shot that I have in mind is uh, he's looking through his scope. <laughs> is he a sniper with a pellet gun? Suspension of disbelief. Suspension Come on. of disbelief, Kyle. Come on. Sorry. Sorry. And then he's looking through the scope. But, and then, like, I had this, like, I wanted to somehow get, like, the shot of the crosshairs. And he's, like, focused on a target or something. And I haven't figured anything out past that. I don't know what I wanted to show. Who was in the who's in the it's crosshairs him. or anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so dumb, <laughs> so existential. <Fitting. laughs> well, it's like, fuck it's like you! <laughs> I fucking you know fuck this. I'm done. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs>
<laughs> Fuck it, Don! Fuck this shit! <laughs> Hey, welcome Dude, back, Jordan. That was so fun. Yeah, I feel like Raka. Yeah. I still want to know what's in his scope. Like, is it like a butterfly? I don't or something? know yet. I haven't thought past that point. But I, I, I pictured it raining. That's why I asked Kyle if I could shoot while it's raining, oh, and I can't do that. No. So, like, I immediately imagined a naked gun sketch where it's like a little baby, exactly. and he's like, "Aw," and then he looks through again. There's like a butterfly or some kittens playing, and it's every time it's something. I think cute. it's supposed to be serious. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be. Yeah, he looks through, and there's a girl changing. It's like, ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to shoot that one. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone walks up behind him. Hey, buddy, what you looking at? Pats him on the shoulder. Bang! And he's like, oh, damn it. <laughs> Why does everything have to turn to a joke? You just told this story about a movie you want to make that's so serious and dark. And, and, I, like, and then you're talking everything yeah. he wants to do into yeah. a joke. Fucking asshole. Jordan thinks you're an asshole. No, I don't think he's an asshole at all. He wants to huh. beat your ass. I think that Mike he has a lot of good would. comedy aspects that he should try to write. But you like to focus on Oh, dark fuck. That reminds me of an idea. Fuck. Oh, oh no. I, want, I gotta go. <laughs> I want you to go back to Frankenstein and Dracula and oh. write them out in, like, how you actually would, like, a play or a short film. Oh, okay. And then we should read it here on the podcast. Oh, okay. All right. I think that'd be really cool. But right now, you all you have is dialogue, probably, right? Yeah. So could you just go back and, like... And you can even change things, obviously. Mm-hmm. But just, I think it'd be cool to read that as, like, like Jordan's Jurassic Golf, but Dracula and then maybe... A few weeks later, or months down the road, do Frankenstein oh, and whatever. Dracula versus Frankenstein, and then Dracula versus Frankenstein. Yeah, and then the collab. You have the script, you and, and then we fucking make it. All right. I think that could be really cool. All right. And I don't think it would take you much time. That'd be at no, least for the first. I would have two. to. I would. Yeah, I would have to. Like the, but you the put hardest thing is the first step. And everything else. Like I always it? just. I always yeah. I always just like talk about it and think about it and maybe read the book and. Write a few notes down, but then I never actually buckle down and do shit. It'd be funny if that's what we did for the 24-hour film fest was Dracula vs. Frankenstein. And an unexpected guest. We already did the 24. I'm just saying. It's funny if we could, would have... What? Even though I made him in high school, Dracula yeah, it's about, about Dracula and then Frankenstein shows up. That's the unexpected guest. <laughs> <laughs> Dracula's like, oh, I'm inviting a new guest over. And then it's Frankenstein. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Who invited you? Who invited the monster? I think we get cool, it because he's a monster. Yeah. You get it? It's a monster calling a monster a monster. Uh, I just really want to. I want people to hear your phone conversation. Oh, that's why you want it. That's the, dude, that's what popped in my head. And I was like, well, we should just do it. Yeah. I always did funny things over the phone. Like, that's my yeah. funniest things. Yeah. Stuff over the phone. When you can't hear the other person. Yeah. I mean, that was even my bit when I did the uh, tryout as I did something over the phone. Cause it's just, oh, it's so true. Yeah, yeah it's just funny you when you yeah. when you get one side of the conversation because yeah. because the other person is like, no, listen, no, no, stop. Oh, oh. It's like you know you can't hear the other person interrupting them. Dude, you I just hear the one guy saying. I got to grab the footage of your audition, by the way. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty funny. It well, it'd it be really pretty funny. really funny the first half when I'm fucking up so hard. I fucked oh, up the first half of that audition. Yeah. Oh, you're fine. You clearly got cast in things. Did yeah. you fuck up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I, I think the only reason I got cast in things was because of the second half. audition. You were in the room. Yeah, he did kind of bomb the audition. Mm-hmm. He did say that your audition was better than my first half of my audition. Who said that? I you just did. read I'm the lines like like I was reading, mm-hmm. like like reading from a book. And then he like he admits, yeah, I just woke up. And me, I was like, yeah, I'm ready for this. I'm a cool, fun guy. And then I go, huh, um, huh, um, <laughs> and like, we were about to um, end Mike's audition. He's like, let me do the thing I wrote this morning. And then you did it, and then you won everybody over. Yeah, because it was pretty funny. Yeah. Again, funny it, funny phone calls. It's the best way to do it because you only hear one side of the conversation. That mustache is getting disgusting. It is. Thank you for pointing it it's out. It's real gross. It's real sketchy. It's a French tickler. What is a French tickler? I don't even know that. It's I like a know. feather. Is it? I don't know. Like a feather on the end of a pole or something? <laughs> I have shit? no idea what it is. I know it's a sex thing. Look it up. What is it? Yeah, Google French tickler. A condom with ribbed protrusions. Mm. It's a French tickler? Really? I, I thought it was a... Uh, I thought it was something to do with a feather. Oh, but now we must go to the Urban Dictionary. Oh, all right. What's well, a French okay, tickler? Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Urban Dictionary. A sexual device in the form of a type of condom containing a massaging accessory at the tip, used for sexual pleasure, used by those who play guitar and suck toes, and do both incredibly. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. Would you guys like to hear it use in a sentence? Yeah. Here is KG with the feather and the French tickler. Look out, baby. He's got the tools. So Did Tenacious D write that? No. Oh, no, actually, I can tell you who did. Uh, Sophie and Juliana in February of 2004. Good on Sophie. Oh, yeah. yeah and Juliana. Yeah, 10 years ago. Wow, mm-hmm. that's pretty good. They're pretty good at that. Mm. This sounds like a game show <laughs> bit in the making. Is using Encyclopedia Wait. Dramatica. <clears throat> yeah. Second definition of French tickler. 
A large decorated dildo, usually constructed from a <laughs> wiffle ball bat and dressed with girly dildo. slut things like glitter and tinsel to create the tickling effect. Using a sentence, French ticklers are all the rave in Japan. <laughs> a wiffle ball bat. <laughs> I'm going to look up my first name in Urban Dictionary. A weird hybrid of a bully and a nerd. That, that I, sounds that, like you. Yeah, that's that kind of fit. That works. That fits. What, not a what's fucking nerd, though. It, Fuck yeah. off. Some sense of the word. What's right? mine? I'm not done reading mine yet. Oh, there's more? I thought the hybrid really of a nerd and ended. bully. <laughs> Use it in a sentence. Dave is an asshole. <laughs> Dave 20 is words related to David. Dave, sexy, gay. <laughs> Keep going. Sex, funny, <laughs> awesome, love, penis. <laughs> Not love, penis. Yeah. Love and penis. The pretend. next one, love, penis. <laughs> cool, amazing, dick, hot, fag, Jew, <laughs> <laughs> shit, Bowie. Hasselhoff, <laughs> ass God man, ass God, <laughs> ass God man. It's my new name. Dude. I was gonna say that's ass a Marvel. God, that's a Marvel superhero. I think is ass God man. <laughs> ass God man. <laughs> yeah. Was that from the Golden? Yeah. Age? It was. It was like he fought human robot. <laughs> ass God man. Right. Look up. Look up all our names. Jesus Christ. Just I'm do gonna, it. Okay, I'll do Jordan. Oh God, I got like a virus now. Oh, on my phone. <laughs> You've had HPV for years. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let's make some predictions. Gay. Um, a California boy. You're never gonna guess the first one. You're never going to guess the first one. Well, oh, probably not. Um, sensitive. Um, a girl's name. Giant dick. That's. <laughs> yes. A different word for a very large penis. So not even that you have a large penis. You, you are. You a are a dick. Yes. You are a Jordan. Okay, so 10 words related to Jordan. You don't even have 20, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Jordans. I, I don't need 20. The one is just the plural. Of shoes. <laughs> You're a shoe, dude. Sexy, amazing, gay, hot, basketball, love, Michael, <laughs> Nike. Wait, was one of those Michael? Oh, Michael yeah, Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And the Nike and the yeah. basketball. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's that's Jordan for you, is Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. But Jordan that's is... That, that explains my personality. Mm-hmm. Perfectly. <laughs> Kyle sucks. Urban. Yeah, well. I want to be a filmmaker. <laughs> I want to be a filmmaker. Yeah. Oh my god. A generous, outgoing guy who goes out of his way for his friends. Bullshit. Who's the guy that didn't show up at the podcast <laughs> last week for no reason at all? For no reason. I, I that so was many, a great story so you had where you decided to, to work. That. You're like. Hey Jordan, what happened when I'm you a great went friend. To skip the podcast and you were like, I was in Chicago. Well, okay, the first the Black first Hawks word. It's funny that you you only you? you only had ten words and everybody else has twenty words related. Well, well watch me have five. You but, uh, the get... first one for you is South Park. <laughs> Cartman, Stan, Kenny, <laughs> awesome, Kylie, Kylie, funny, sex, That's what I call you on the phone. amazing, gay. Yeah, <laughs> Every, everyone's got like, everyone's got amazing, sexy, sexy, and sexy cool, fag. <laughs> Yeah. Love, hot, bitch, vagina, <laughs> <laughs> ass, penis, South Park. Again? Again. <laughs> as one word. Oh, as one word. Okay. Yeah. Love, penis. <laughs> it's two words. One of the best guys on the face of the earth. Extremely smart, yet athletic, <laughs> talented, <laughs> and downright sexy. Is good at football and will definitely marry a hot girl. Who's this guy? Yeah, isn't, did you That's move on to Mike? I was going to say, there's no one in this room that matches that description. I'm pretty athletic. <laughs> Should I do Mike or Michael? Uh, I go by Mike, and I think Michael will turn up too many Jordans. Thanks for announcing you go by Mike. Uh, I go by Mike. <laughs> I go by Mikey. Yo, Mikey! Yo, Kylie! The most amazing boy in the world. Oh, thanks, Mom. My mom's on Urban Dictionary. Yeah. Does your mom get on the internet? Nope. Well, yeah, like, she knows. Gay, gay is the third word related to you. So we all have gay. But Mike's you, is close to the top. You got fags. You got cock. You're the first one to get cock. Cool. Poop. There's poop in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> There's poop in there, too. <laughs> Mikey is one of them. I yeah, that like, makes sense. <laughs> the coolest kid you will ever meet. He also has a fairly large dick. He is liked by everyone. Here's some synonyms. Literally, Mike synonyms. Mm, Perfection. (laughs) Godlike. Sexy. Ridiculously good in bed. I don't know how that's a synonym. (laughs) (laughs) I love the trail off. Commonly known as the most interesting man in the world. There is never a dull moment with Mike. How are these supposed to be me? 
don't know. I kind of we, never no, a dull moment. We, Mike is we, often found riding a giant wild beast, <laughs> shooting cannonballs from his nipples and laser beams from his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a little closer. <laughs> I do have things coming up. Name is nipples. often referred to as God of the Chinese. <laughs> what? Yes. What? <laughs> yes. His hair parts like a beautiful waterfall. <laughs> His <laughs> eyes look like the ocean. His lips are warm and he kisses real good. That's what it says, man. That is so good. He is the perfect boyfriend and any girl dating him will have very few, 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 few uh, jealous horrors. They get know. juicy in their front butt. Uh, inappropriate. God. He is also very <laughs> inappropriate in public places. <laughs> hey, hey, we got one, one right. There's so one far. thing. There's <laughs> one thing. It took a while. We got one right. That and poop. Yeah, poop and cock. I got poop in me. <laughs> you got poop and cock in you. I don't remember how this goes. I don't remember. Uh...